How often have you taken for granted the privilege of worshiping the Lord according to your personal spiritual beliefs? As Christians, we value religious freedom and revere those who came before us, making sacrifices so they could worship as they desired. There is a hymn which celebrates religious freedom. Over 190 Christian hymnals have published this and people associate it with early settlers to America. However, this song's lyrics were written after a dark time in a country across the Atlantic Ocean that saw violence and oppression. Political and religious strife in late 16th century Europe took away from people the freedom to worship as they believed. At the time the hymn was written, the Dutch were at war against the Catholic King Philip II of Spain. Under the Spanish King, Dutch Protestants were forbidden to gather for worship. There was persecution under the policies of Spain to those who opposed the Catholic Church. Fighting could be ruthless, as illustrated by the thousands who were massacred and hundreds of homes which were burned by the Spanish in 1576 during the Siege of Antwerp. The Dutch, who were a stronghold for the Reformed beliefs of John Calvin, were in a struggle against Spain for their political independence and against the Catholic Church for religious freedom. The Dutch Calvinists were forbidden to gather for worship, and in 1597 the Dutch had a resounding victory over Spanish forces at the Battle of Turnout. To mark the victory, the words to a poem were penned by a believer and later published in 1626 by Adrianus Valerius. The song, Wilt Heden Nu Treden, We Gather Together, was written to celebrate the victory and religious freedom. The words were originally sung to a Dutch folk tune. The song gained popularity with the Dutch as they celebrated their ability to meet and worship without the wicked Spanish oppressing. A later truce in 1609 proved to the believers the Lord was on their side. We gather together to ask the Lord's blessing. He chastens and hastens his will to make known. The wicked oppressing now cease from distressing. Sing praises to his name. He forgets not his own. Beside us to guide us, our God with us joining ordaining, maintaining his kingdom divine. So from the beginning, the fight we were winning, through lo thou, Lord, were at our side, all glory be thine. We all do extol thee, thou leader triumphant, and pray that thou still our defender will be. Let thy congregation escape tribulation, thy name be ever praised. O oh Lord, make us free. When U.S. born Theodore Baker was studying in Leipzig, Germany, he translated the hymn into English, publishing it in 1894, calling it a prayer for thanksgiving. It was published in the first American hymnal in 1903. By World War I, Americans started to see themselves in the hymn and its popularity increased during World War II when the wicked oppressing was considered to be Nazi Germany and Imperial Japan. The words which were sung over 400 years ago by those who relished religious freedom are just as important today as we see the wicked oppressing still. Like the Dutch, freedom-loving people can echo. Thy, thy name be ever praised, O Lord, make us free." End of quote. 